come on. Whack them open, mate. You rejoin me high up in the Welsh mountains and things aren't really going to plan. The dramatic landscape I was blindly wandering into was worryingly different to what I'd seen on Google Earth and the dense fog made it impossible to see how far down I'd be plummeting if I was to take a tumble, making it seem infinitely more treacherous. To make things worse, my condition was deteriorating rapidly. Oh God, feeling really weak man. Seven hours of heavy exertion, five of which spent soaking wet and with virtually no food, was starting to take its toll. Guys, I'm not, I'm not feeling great. I'm feeling weak. It's sugar, I think, but also it could be the cold. And the longer I sit here in this freezing cloud, um, the, the, the worse that will get. Time will tell whether I can keep moving on our track. But the more I descended, the clearer my destiny became. Guys, this is the end of the road. Look where I am. I'm shaking because of lack of sugar. I've got this to contend with. Down there is a ravine. Up there, absolutely no chance of going round there. The time is five o'clock. It's gonna be dark enough. It's gonna be getting dark in an hour. I need to get out of here, mate. I need to get down there and quick, mate. Out to safety. This is heartbreaking, but it's gotta end here. I feel like crying, genuinely. Right, I bet I gotta right, I gotta get out of here. So sorry. Shivering from being stood still for so long, I shimmied my way down to the edge of the gorge to take a closer look. And it was pretty frightening. Who knows what other death traps lay beyond it too. So I followed its steep banks downstream in the hope of finding civilization. I need to get away from this edge. As I did so, I tried to figure out in my head why it all went so wrong so quickly. The poor conditions undoubtedly played a significant part, but I couldn't help but berate myself for such careless planning. I'd burnt my food. I'd seriously underestimated this whole section of the mountains. Numbskull. And perhaps most costly of all, I'd failed to consider the importance of phone signal. Because even if I had attempted to spend the night up there and try again the next day, which isn't a pleasant thought, poor Joey would have feared for my life and there would have been a search party out for me. That could still happen if I didn't manage to contact him soon. So when I spotted this isolated mountain cottage, there was hope. Of course, no one was in. And that's probably because it was a hiker's hut and no one actually lived there. I need to ring Joey. He's gonna think I'm dead. Everyone's gonna think I'm dead. But half a mile further down the valley was a farm the very establishment I'd been trying to evade all week, and now I was groveling at its feet. How would they react to being interrupted from their hard work by a snivelling Englishman in full camouflage wanting to use their phone? Perfectly well, it turns out. If only my brain was functioning well enough to type in the correct number, and not Joe's Pizza of Sutton Coldfield. Do you know where you are? I do know where I am. Eventually though, I got through to Joey and let him know I was all right and that unfortunately his services wouldn't be needed. Okay. Do you want to ring the pub, see if they got room for you? Or? Um, you can do, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's two and a half miles of this. Is it? Yeah. Congratulations on your Grand Slam, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and on that bitter note, I was on my way again. Yeah. Take care. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> I hadn't told the jovial sheep herder what I'd really been up to, but something told me his dogs knew. It was a strange old journey to the nearest village. It certainly was. I was cold, wet, exhausted, upset, and full of regret. I'm gutted, man. I'm truly gutted. But my God, did it feel good to walk on a road. And then there was the thought of a nice warm pub and a chair and a hot meal. I don't think I've ever wanted a hot meal more than during this very stretch, which I later discovered was actually 3.5 miles. 
So I've definitely been walking more than two and a half mile. Still no sign of this pub. There must have been sheep herders miles. But eventually I made it. Oh thank fuck. Oh thank fuck. <sighs> so there you have it. I failed the mission. But I wasn't gonna end on that note. Um, welcome back everyone to Wales. Uh, four fifths of the way across Wales to be precise. Uh, yeah, you rejoin me, I'm back. I'm not taking no for an answer. I failed, technically speaking, but I am determined to give you guys a show. I'm, I'm determined to give that cloud, which I was well and truly inside of, um, a silver lining. So I am making my way back to the point at which things got Larry, or at least Maybe a little bit a little bit after. Yeah, a little bit after, probably for the best. Uh, and I'm restarting and I'm gonna make my way down, because it's all downhill from here, down to Dolgefly. All downhill, eight miles. There's some interesting stuff I've got to try and go through. I won't give it away. And I'm trying to do this today. Well, yeah, today, in one day. See you at the top. Right, this is it. Straight down there, over yonder. Let's go. Pack is lighter. Legs are stronger, but what will this amazing country spring up at me today? Let's see how fast we can get down here. Looks like we're coming off the forestry land here and onto some good old sheepy farm fields. I'll take these all day. You can even put your knee down on the moss. Getting a bit bored of this landscape. Tell you what, I'll see you at that wood. See you later, sunshine. It's been pleasant but brief. And hello again, disturbingly dark and mossy woodland. Sadly, hardly any of this large forest or the three kilometers prior to it qualifies as condensed highlights. Simply too much happened after this for me to warrant showing it, as pleasant as it was. That's not to say it didn't throw me a few curveballs, including a giant upturned tree. Straight over this, apparently. That is not stable at all. Oh, that is definitely not stable, is it? And the worst patch of brambles of the entire trip. This is my least favorite thing in the world right now. But by using some savvy logistics, I was able to slice my way through them bit by bit. There we go, that's, that's the technique. Okay, it's starting to change here a bit. I think we might be at the end. And with that increased chance of seeing people, I really do think that I am gonna bump into people today. I'm coming down into a valley it's more towards the sea. There's going to be more walkers, paths, farmers out, just people out, I think. Phase two of today, I think. Fields, I can see a house right there. Okay. I'm trying to hide behind this tree. Not sure I'm actually on their land, but wouldn't be surprised if they owned it. They also can see me hop this fence, so let's get a move on. Okay. That guy stopped. Hope he's not after me. That's not good. There's another house over here too. Good grief. I don't know whether to let that guy go. No, because I might be in view. I'm going to soldier on. But he's right there. He's pulling off. No, yeah. I thought he was doing a Yui then. He's pulling off. But over here, 
I'm supposed to be going into someone's back garden. <sighs> okay, that's done. If they're in, they've got a perfect view of me. I'll have to see whether or not I think I can do it. Okay, I'm in their garden. Beehives, shit. More brambles, fuck. I think we got away with that one. Saw that red coat over there and panicked. It's just a horse. I don't know if I'm going into that horse field yet. That is definitely a car in the distance. Horse has clocked me. I think I'm headed straight for that house, you know with the car in the drive. Okay, this could be bad. Oh shit, there's one right there too. Okay, I'm going into this horse field. Don't know how the horse will react. Soon find out. It's okay, boy. Don't mind me. Your owners might, but you need not. Oh, he's coming out. He's coming out. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Shit. Fucking hell. Oh, thank God I've got over here. Okay, horses evaded. Now for the owners. Hopefully, no one sees me, because this is ridiculous. This is mental. I've got to go up there. I've got to go up here. This is mental. No, surely not. This is fucking crazy. Did you hear that? Oh. My heart's only just starting to settle after that. That oi really cut right through me when that guy showed oi. I presume he was just sort of looking out the window. Uh, or maybe he was in the garden. I didn't see him in the garden. But, but I don't remember there being that many houses and farms and whatnot. It's quite so soon. But anyway, still got lots of ground to make. Don't know whether anyone's in that house, but to be honest, I don't really care. Oh. We have activity over there, stables. Anyone there? I see cars. This is their little practice ground, isn't it? That I'm going into here. Just looking out for people all the time. I do look suspicious when I run, but oh well. Okay, that looks swampy. Very swampy. Oh, snagged on brambles. Ah. This valley really is an absolute patchwork of hazards, people, stuff, activity, and it makes for such a good mission. I'm really excited as I'm in the midst of this. What do we got next? I've got a trampoline I can see, which isn't good. Because that means there's kids. Kids mean more protective dads, I guess. I didn't see this on Google. 
I reckon this is a new build. I can't go in there, can I? Doesn't look like there's anyone in, to be fair. But you never know. If I go to that corner, I'm about 10 meters off. So that's not too bad. I ain't doing that. <laughs> that's a piss take. Oh, there's probably no one in, to be honest. It just would have looked awful, wouldn't it? There's no excuse in that if I just cut across there. Right, anyway, next thing. There's more. There is more, and there's a dog there as well. And this is definitely someone's back garden. Okay. There's no going round. There's no going round. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry lovely community. When's that gonna end eh? This whole back garden thing, it's gotta stop. It's gotta stop. They're after me. where I'd usually insert some narration. But hard to know what to tell you here, really. It kind of is what it is. A wonderful daisy chain of private property, odd landscapes and mystical forests that with my newfound freedom and confidence, I was able to just cruise my way through. The day would definitely have been a lot more stressful if I was still on course for success but I still very much wanted to get to that estuary unscathed and there was plenty more opportunity to fail that mission. Oh, there's a bloke there. There's a bloke. Okay, his wife's just called him. I'm gonna make a run for it. Oh, stop. Oh, oh. Oh, my ankle. Oh, I just twisted my ankle. At least there's a style here. So that bloke ain't gonna bother me. But my ankle just rolled. Over and out. We have dogs. I don't know whether they can get here or not. What a weird two minutes. I think my ankle's all right. What happened was I landed on just a medium sized rock. Shut up. Just rolled it, but he seems to be okay. Maybe it's just the adrenaline, but see what happens when I try and run. Hopefully I don't have to. I'm descending down into another valley with a farm over there. Hooey. There it is, there's the farm. It's a big one. Lots of activity. I am covered from the farm, but I have got to go right through this. Okay, they're so tall, I think I can sort of walk through it. Oh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And we've got movement down there. Let's get a move on just in case they're arseholes. Oh my God, look what's coming up, guys. We've got like, some amazing trees. Looks like part of some sort of stately home peeping through there. Let's check it out. It's directly on my line. Look at that for a tree. That's quite incredible. And we are headed right for this house. Gingerly, I emerged into the grounds of the hall. If I could make it to the end of this well-kept lawn, I could take cover in the row of yew trees up ahead and assess the situation. Okay, no wedding. The closer I edged towards the exposed main facade of the building, the less stately and private it felt with its cheap garden furniture and 
modern, practical-looking windows and doors. Bang on, guys. It felt more like a hotel than a stately home, which rather took the edge off it somewhat. Might have my wedding there. Do you reckon? It's got to gotta be done. In the very next field was another cold, fast-flowing river where I practiced my chimpanzee noises. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, it actually feels incredible to be out of that. That was bitingly cold. Before demonstrating that my IQ is actually less than that of a chimp. I've literally just put my shoe on before putting my trousers on. I don't think it gets more schoolboy than that but with my clothes eventually on, I was faced with what looked like actual proper fences. Yeah, someone is guarding this area pretty fiercely. Luckily, I could pass just to the left of the first fence, which had been plastered with debris from the recent high waters and into some sort of water pumping station. What the hell is this place? Look at that. Who knows what it is, but um, I know I shouldn't be in here, clearly. The second fence looked slightly trickier to deal with. That ain't great, is it? It was a fair way down to the rocks below, so I didn't particularly want to hang off this wobbly structure that's designed to hurt people, but I didn't have much choice. Right, we're on. But this little riverside obstacle course had one more little treat for me. Can we use this? It was a miniature version of the infamous rotten bridge from the very first mile of the mission as if to remind me of how minuscule a task I had left to complete, compared to back then. That was an interesting little section. Uh, and it's up this bank and onto a road and beyond. Let's go. No cars. We're on track, people. We're on track. Wow. You can see the mountain I would have come down. Doesn't look too bad, as I said before. It was the other side that was the problem. Okay, I thought it was a farm building we're coming up to here. It's a caravan park. Got to go through it, so see what happens. Here we go, guys. Gonna be a chance of being caught here and asked to get the fuck off basically. You know, they might just be doing prep work for the season. Who knows? Can't see anyone yet. Pray to God there's not a dog patrolling the place. Oh, there's a guy over there. Shit. Walk faster. Walk faster. Don't know if he saw me. Hopefully he's just a worker. There he is, look. So far, so good. To be honest, I don't care now. Once I get over there, up to that castle, look. You're, you're away then, aren't you? Okay. This. Okay, it's pointing me here. I'm going under. Look at that, no damage. That's how you do it. Thank you. It's got to be done. It had to be done. This is beautiful, by the way. I think at this stage, I was probably starting to think about the finish line. Rock, stump, road. <laughs> That's genuine happiness to be walking on a road. Every hurdle I was faced with, Ooh. I lapped up. That is a drop. Oh, there we go. Oh, this isn't too bad, is it? It's not too bad. 
don't know why I'm whispering. And more than ever, I began seeing the beauty in things. Imagine owning that as a back garden. That would be so cool. Just to build dens and fucking... Just camp. You could camp there. More interesting looking woodland. Great to camp in again. Well, not everything. Oh, God. I don't want to be falling in this. This is... This stinks. This is putrid, stagnant water. I do not want to be sitting on a bus covered in this shit. I don't think they'd let me on, to be honest. Do you know, guys? I don't actually think we've got that long to go now. It's the first time I'm going to say it. I don't want to say it if it's not true, but there ain't a fat lot to go. In the meantime, though, I could enjoy more deciduous woodland. We're getting through it. It's nice. It's mystical. It's a mystical wood. These are the woods I love. And some less appealing, brambly, dense, painful, and downright eerie forests. Eventually, though, I arrived at the steep banks of the wood's edge. Oh. <laughs> nah, mate. Where I was able to see my next obstacle. Oh, shit. Someone's house again. Through the trees. Yay, goody. I can't slide down there. There's brambles. My bum cheeks are too soft. So I'm not doing that. I might end up doing it. Won't be on purpose. Hopefully that dog is not barking for me. Surely his eyesight isn't that good. Just the fact that he's there is a bit worrying, to be honest. Oh. That's a golf course, isn't it? That's a fair way of a golf course. And there's definitely someone in, because there's a chimney going. Fuck, I hope they're not some sort of strict caretaker. If they are, I'm gonna have to run. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna use this to my advantage. Look at that. Genius. Oh. Please don't see me, please don't see me. Private property, please keep out. Okay. My belt's come off, that's not a good time. Not a good time for the belt to come off and there's a dog down there. There's the dog. Oh, he's not happy. I'm getting a jog on. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> and we're into the woods. Oh, yes. Right, the end is now semi in sight. We've got a road coming up, as you can probably hear. Then there's a little river. Well, it's, it might be quite big, actually. <laughs> Main road, river, swampy land, marshy, sea watery land. Then I go up a hill into a wood again down the other side onto the estuary. There's a pub where I finish and uh, that is where I end, the estuary. It's coastal, it's tidal. Um, so that classifies as the coast. You, sorry if you're expecting a beach, but the end's in sight. I'm hoping to be there in sort of an hour. So wish me luck. Okay, so this plant here that's surrounding us, it's actually wild garlic. You can just pick that, eat it raw. And that's gonna give me the protein, vitamins and nutrients to get me to the end. Oh. oh, that is disgusting. Tastes like a Frenchman's jebben. Oh. On a serious note, I hope that stuff's edible. It's burning my mouth at the moment. There it is. Oh, looks pretty big to be honest. Let's go over this fence before any more cars come. Okay, we're over. Okay, it is flo Okay, that's not too bad. It does look pretty deep there, but it's definitely flowing. It's not like it's not tidal at this point. 
the sea doesn't extend up here. And that is someone's back garden. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, that is someone's back garden. Right, okay. I know what I'm gonna do. Look at me. I know, it's hilarious. Yeah, okay. I'm about to cross this person's back garden. They'll probably be able to see me from their house. Then, I don't know how deep that river's gonna be. Could be really deep. Could be as deep as me. If so, I'm fucked. But, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run over and cross it. See what happens. Shit, that shed's open. Oh my God. No turning back now. Oh my God, that's deep as fuck. Sorry. Oh God. <sighs> Hello there, don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Could be deeper. At least I'm not totally submerged. How far off have we gone? We have gone somewhat off. That was really enjoyable to be fair. Can't believe no one's caught me today doing anything. Well, this whole trip in fact. It's outrageous. How the fuck do I get up this? It's all brambly. They're just looking at a wet tiny bum at the moment. Can I do that? And then claw my hands in here? This isn't doable. How about if I dig my knife in? Oh, yes. Ow. Get in. Oh, there's the dogs. Done it. Crossed the river. Shut up. This is the marshy swampy land I was talking about. But for now, I need to put my trousers back on. Um, I've got my trousers back on. I'm really eager to see what these fields are like. This one looks fine. But you see the tufts? I think those tufts are gonna get more and more and more frequent until it just turns to reeds, just pure reeds. Okay, the tufts are getting more and more frequent. I can see, but it ain't too bad for now. Okay, yeah, this don't look great. <gasps> oh man, this ain't easy, this is not easy. Okay. Oh, that was really tough. I had to use all my strength to balance there. I'm pinching onto that barbed wire. Okay, can I use this log to cross this? Well, I'm already wet. Why am I even bothering? Oh, moment of truth. What is this field gonna throw at me? How boggy is it gonna be? The answer was really not that bad, but there was this. Okay, maybe I can jump from this little mound here, this mound of wet clay. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's five foot deep. This is real bare grill stuff here. Just need to slice these off. Well, he would have jumped in, wouldn't he? He would have defo jumped in by now. Hack them all down, mate. Oh my God, this is not a good push off point. <laughs> this could end badly. Here we go. Oh. oh yes, that was a good, that was a good takeoff. That took all, I used all the muscle in my left leg there to push off. I just can't believe how deep that is down there. I can't even see the bottom now. Right, we are going through reeds here. This ain't good. Here we go. Okay, it's not too bad. And that was the worst bit. There were more reeds, but it was all pretty dry. The thing that had been worrying me the most throughout the day, the very last big obstacle, it turned out to be absolutely fine. Am I trampling someone's crop? So these really expensive basket weaving reeds or what? This is my last field, guys. We've got this. Then we go over there, down the other side. And then we get down to the estuary, where the pub is. I can't remember the name of the pub. Prince of Wales? I don't know, we'll find out when we get there. 
Am I going across this guy's yard here as well? Let's see if we can have a mission, one last little mission here. It's a Monday. Everyone will be working. Oh God. Oh. You can get down. You will see. If someone's there, you'll see them before me. Because the GoPro is higher than my eyes. Okay. Ow, ow. The farmyard did look pretty industrious with lots of machinery and JCBs and cattle over to the right, so I approached with caution. But I couldn't see anyone. So off I went over the first obstacle. Oh God, I thought that other place stung. place was deserted. There wasn't a Gwyn, a Dai or a Gareth to be seen. Shame really, because I quite fancied a chase. Okay. okay. More reeds then up the hill. Okay. Ah, oh, do you know what? I'm sick of these things. Whoa. I can't believe no one was in that farmyard. Oh wait. We have movement. I can hear an engine going in there now. Great. I'd missed out on a final dramatic chase. I'd have to seek pleasure in bulldozing my way through more reeds instead. I didn't find any. This wall provided a good challenge as I neared the final wood. I don't think this will take my way, I'm not sure. We'll see. Ah. It's kind of holding. If I can just get up and... Yeah. There we go. but I'd need to be careful on this road. It's a bit dodgy, this. Jolly good. Can I get up here? I bloody hope so. Oh. Right. The final wood was actually quite different, consisting mainly of laurel trees, evergreen with mazy jungle-like branches that require diligence and quick thinking to manoeuvre through. Oh. I always assume that I'm in the grounds of a private hall or a fancy hotel when I see Laurel. This time I actually was. Oh, definitely in a garden. Some description. Probably shouldn't be here to be fair. After some more pesky yanny. Oh. Why are you giving me this so close to the end? And a booby trap straight out of Tomb Raider 3. Oh fuck. Oh. That could have been worse. I could finally physically see what we'd been aiming for this whole time. There it is, there's the estuary. I can see the bridge for our finish. But obviously, Wales had one last hurdle for me to jump. Well, quite the opposite. Oh no, it's a cliff edge. Oh dear. Let's have a closer look. Oh God, no. No, that's, uh, that's a 30 foot drop. Okay, I'll try and go to the left then. Yeah. Oh, I hope this way isn't too treacherous. Can I go down here? I can't see very far down. Really don't want to pull this cliff down. Could be really unstable. What a way to meet my end after this, after this whole trip has gone so death free. Yeah, we can get down here, can't we? See, there's always little tests it throws at you right at the last second, just when you think you've done it. Oh, no, 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 come back here, sir. Come back here. I don't know why I'm doing a strict Indian teacher. Now it felt the finish line was really in sight. Ooh, ooh, yes. We're all but there. I can see the pub, I can see the sea, I can see everything. And despite the circumstances, the excitement was still very much there. Oh, let's get down there now, come on, come on. There's the coast. How am I gonna get down that?
get in. And there it was. Here we are. The <sighs> sea. Yes. Oh God, we've done it. That isn't salty, <laughs> to be honest. That isn't. I can't lie, that's not salty. <laughs> it is the coast, <laughs> I promise. I googled it. Oh, what it'll be, the tide, the tide is out. The tide comes right up here. And <laughs> that's really funny, the idea that that isn't the sea. But anyway, I've done it. Not all in one go, um, but I've, ugh, I'm so happy. Look at that line. I am so happy with that. It would have been so sweet if I'd have done it in one go. Let's not lie. Would have been so sweet, but I'm still young. I've got plenty of attempts at this and uh, other countries too. I don't know if any of you will be mad enough to give this a go. Try and, you know, beat me to it if you like. But um, best of luck if you do. All I'll say is just respect, <laughs> respect the land. Don't do anything stupid. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Um, and you'll still be here in one piece. That's the main thing. That's me over and out. Cheers. <laughs>